I am a small child and I work hard every day and soon my boss will notice me and I will actually get paid. That is the message. That is the Psychonauts 2 uh, credo. Actually, it's kind of weird. I don't know how pay works at Psychonauts headquarters. They seem to just bury currency randomly around the facility and then whatever you dig up in passively in your day-to-day -day activities, that's your take home. But they do have a company store. And these very silly flamingos. The most bulbous eyes on these flamingos, my god. Okay, so, last time we, let's see, we we met Dogen's grandfather, and we fixed his brain with the, the cooking show. Scanning access granted. Which, the, yeah, the, the, that was a, that was a good level. That was a really good level. I liked how, how it showed how chaotic it is when you get overwhelmed by, like, he can't really suspect too many tasks at once, which in some people's cases, my case sometimes, is uh, more than zero tasks. Like, whoops, you want me to do a thing? No, I think I'm going to curl into a ball and um, not anything for several hours. It's not a productive mindset. It doesn't get a lot done. And then when I come out of it, I still have to do the goddamn dishes. So what were the other two? We've got that that got one of Ford's brain pieces back in line. We've still got to do Barber. We got the league card so we can get the bowling back in line. We got to get a brain for Nick John Smith so we can get into the mail room. Yeah, this game is uh, a bit more open than the first one. In a way, I kind of like. There's, uh, like, open quest lines. The first game was a very linear, like, do this bit, now do this bit, now do this bit. And that's fine. Because um, the the environments are still, you know, big and, and interesting to explore. But now we have all these open quest lines. It's kind of taken that... Um, that that Assassin's Creed Ubisoft style uh, but like made something good out of it nice to see you again Rasputin very loaded comment to stay clothed very good I'll explain after wow. this cutscene my thoughts Look at anyway all these gadgets gadgets sorry machines psycho reactive technology Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Ooh. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. <laughs> that one, uh... I was just hungry. <laughs> Does it taste like hamburger? You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent 9 seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. Oh, hey, Jeff a ghost. If Thanks for that raid. Out, Welcome. Welcome one and all to Psychonauts 2. We're, we're slightly past the tutorial and just got into the more open world aspects of the game. 
We left the we left the facility and now get to explore the woods and the campgrounds outside. Yeah, so like the old style collectathons, your your banjo kazooies and your uh, well, I mean, your I, I would argue they they originate from things like Super Mario sixty four. Um, but your you know your banjo kazooies, your Conker's Bad Fur Days, uh, they relied on a very linear path, but worlds that were interesting enough that you went back and scoured them. Um, sometimes you had a little bit of flexibility in which you know uh, areas you went to first, but they had to be in a very more or less things had to be done in a certain order. Um, How many? I have 600. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that because I'm really close to right really close to the double money pin. I would never trust one to someone so um, oh, yeah. banjo was great. The... I, I... I may restream those one day. But, um... Your your inheritor, I would argue, of that sort of game has been the the Assassin's Creeds and the Far Cries. The here's a big map. We're gonna throw all the icons up there, and they use the fact that you have all of that information in front of you as incentive to explore the area. But my problem with that style is a lot of the content seems functionally either identical or inconsequential. Like, I went around Assassin's Creed 2 and got all them feathers. Great. I got a, I got a cape that pissed people off. Like, it didn't... It didn't add much substantially, substantially either to gameplay or story. Um, and that's kind of the philosophy that's been driving a lot of the Ubisoft open world games. This game is kind of doing that, saying, you know, here's the, uh, here's your family, and here's the original founding members, and here's, you know, a map full of keys and items and whatnot to collect, and go out and explore, you know, kind of borrowing from that Ubisoft style, but it's still one of those old Nintendo rare kinds of collectathons and there's character and there's story and there's charm. There's a lot of optional dialogue that I actually give a shit to go and listen to. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. Loan some gadgets. Try them out for more info. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. <laughs> um, what how happens if I ask him how to use them? Contact with your mind. The secret is the Citanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Okay, good enough. I'll take that explanation. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Oh no, that's how Helmet Only died. I saw it happen, and he's unable to tell us where to look for it. Oh, hey, if we recover Ford, maybe we can get Helmet back. Maybe he's not dead. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, 
humorous. Lie detectors don't stand up in court. They're not substantial. They're not. They don't mean anything. They can tell you that you're sweaty and nervous. I'm sweaty and nervous all the time, and I'm a terrible liar. All right, so we got, what do we got here? We got a camera. Additional filters can be purchased at the automatic. Is there a selfie mode? Wait, maybe I gotta. I'm getting the sense there are some stray thoughts nearby. I sh okay. Oh, that's how, it's not a. It's a fully... Okay, that's kind of cool. I admit, I know this has become like a... Uh, like a well-loved feature in games lately. Everything has a camera and a selfie mode and... Pseudo-Instagram. It's never been something that I've really played around with much. <clears throat> So if I, oh, there's the zoom. Oh, up and down. Where's the? I can find everything. I can find everything except the. Is there a way to just take a picture, or do you have to share it? I guess you have to share it. Yeah, I beat Death Stranding before they added that feature. So, like, it came out, and I uh, I had never got to play around with it. Um, People might think this thought too I might check it out when I play the director's cut a little bit. Well, tuner, let's res. Doing straight thoughts. With the gadget equipped, hold R2 to go into detail search mode. Just follow the beeps. Get that. That's one rank up for me. Cool. New home for you, side challenge marker. Cool. All right, I need a brain. Where do I get a brain? Oh. This is where I get a brain. There didn't seem to be much in the way of a uh, dialogue option talking to Otto about a brain. Uh, yes, Rasputin? Well, I ought to let you get back to work. Okay, so let's root around your lab some more. What's up here? So many brains. All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork uh, somewhere. This is legal. I'm not a brain thief. Oh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? Also Go lunch. for the squeamish and psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. And we've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here. And yours, too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. Son of a bitch. Being an intern sucks. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, huh. This one's my favorite. Been in there too long. I'm guessing these are. Yeah. These are oh, right. these are backers. Great. This one seems nice. Is Nick John Smith in here? Johnston, Johnson, Johnson. Kane, Johnson, many Johnsons, Johnston. Nope, okay. Cause of death, various. That one looks a little soggy. Lobe rash? Warning, contagious lobe rash. Too big for Nick. Don't like the undulations. Someone's seen young Frankenstein. We had to put that joke in here. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Cause of death, abandonment? Found in the Heptadome. All right, Harry, we're going for a ride. Don't abandon your brains. They're very sensitive. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins. Oh, no. Not the pop-ins. We've already had a conversation about why you shouldn't do this. Get permission first, Rez. My god. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? <laughs> How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. Is this a dog's brain? Are we talking to a dog? What was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? <laughs> no, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who or is this just a spark of consciousness coming to life and, like, everything? discovering oh, everything one at a time? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God, or the universe, or the ultimate cosmic oneness, or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh -huh. But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. <laughs> I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. <laughs> Oh, the ego. <laughs> Smells like another side quest. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. We don't need this Have jar. Rain, Straight into the backpack with you. I'm also glad that he still kisses the brain. So that's a cute touch. Uh, 
Um, okay, that's two of the three Fords. I don't remember what I have to do to get the hair cutter, the barbershop Ford, to uh, back into place. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to Careful. KLOB. It looks like you're starting to burn a little. Oh, man, uh, excuse the other me. are going to be so jealous. So I'm going to head back. Oh, first I'm going to get these and that key. Oh, I didn't equip that pin, did I? Oh, I can't use it until I'm rank 52. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the main office. And I can give Nick the brain and I can uh, show other for the bowling card. The bowling uh, pass that I got from Dogan's grandpa. Cooper, Connor, something like that. We can check the mural. And then I can also go poke by the hair salon again and see, like, what did you need from me again? I, I forgot. Love them loading screens. Wonder if I could get an SSD into this thing. Maybe that would help. If I put up an SSD in there though, where would the bottleneck be then? I don't know enough about internal PS4 hardware. Oh, you look just like my nephew. A little jerk. I'll take that card. Oh, did I just not go into the damn barber shop? That would explain why I don't remember, because I never bothered to like, like Oh. It got away. Whoops. Didn't mean it. I'll pet the rat. See, I didn't mean to shoot the rat. I'm petting the rat. It's all fine. Excuse me, Ford? Sorry, with a client right now. Obviously. Think you'll be done with that haircut soon? Please. You can't rush an artist. I see a big missing chunk on this side. What's that? Not to fear. Only temporary. All part of the process. <laughs> Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. Oh, jeepers. He's got the scissors and the comb, like, in his hair. Uh, all right. How's this going to go? We got we got the brain for Nick John Smith without having to get into a level. So presumably if this is if this is how you fix the the barber ford then um we'll have everything we need and then we can uh put him back together. We can all the king's horses and all the king's men him, but, you know, for real, because we're good at our job. Stupid king's horsemen. Grulovia invaded.
Hmm. I am actually, you know what I'm going to do right now before we even, before we even get started. I'm not going to make the same mistake like I made last time. I'm going to go buy some lollipops and some cotton candy. Because I don't want to end up in another fucking ghost, goat, ghost, goat boss situation. Dum de dum. There we go. Love it. So loading times, yeah. Cards piling up, turn them into side challenge markers. Brand new mental connection pins available. Delicious and good for your mental energy. Ooh, good choice. Unlike dream fluffs, you gotta remember to use the no refunds. Yeah, no, Bloodborne's loading times were awful. Excuse me, Ford? Sorry, with a client right now. Obvious. Would you mind if I jumped into your mind? They patched him to be all right. <laughs> they, they, they never got good. They, 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 and also the fact that anytime you wanted to go to the, the dream... Anytime you wanted to go anywhere, you had to go through the dream, so you had to go through a loading time on each end of that. It was... It got tedious. But yeah, it's much better than it was at the start. Like when the game first came out. Here, thankfully, once you're in a level, um, they're big and expansive, and you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's not until there's a uh, scene transition. Um. Someone's looking a little shaggy. Oh no. Well, not to worry. A fresh cut and you'll feel like you're a whole new person. Just make sure you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. You're terrifying. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. And something tells me it's up in that lighthouse. You don't have to worry about a whole lot of mid-level loading, so that's nice. What are you? Oh, whoops. do that. Oh, well. What do we got? I have five credits. A radial shockwave to the ground pound that pushes enemies back. Cooldown between telekinesis. Charge blast. Wrecking balls maxed out. Cooldowns. Well, we're going to need the Dark Thoughts anyway. So, and if we use this in combat, it's actually pretty useful. What 
what's over here? Malik Razors. The sharpest blade is the one you never feel. I suppose that's true. Oh. If not slightly threatening. I think there was a uh, flippy bar I could have grabbed there, but either way, I got where I wanted to go. Mm. Everything's made out of hair, and I hate it. First it was teeth, and now it's all hair. Oh, I guess that's not a flippy bar. Whoa! Oops. Did not mean to put on my my running ball. Make myself all slippery. Oh well. Yep. What the fuck? Oh. Gross. It's head lice. What are they made of? Asbestos? What? Do you want flammable bugs on your head? Not safe. Yeah, of course. Obviously. This is so much better. Great mysterious new weapon, friendly floods. Friendly, friendly. Oh shit. I guess I can jump a little bit. them and I can't shoot them. What else have we got? Sounds like purpose. Alright, 
so let's see. We can glide on that. Interesting. Guess I was more forward than I thought. Um, we can glide on that hair dryer, and it then looks like there's a little island we can get to. Whoops. Try that again. What? Okay, I need a perspective on this. Ugh. I missed one. Damn it. <laughs> Ugh, more of these things. Hey, now, this is their home. You're just a visitor. What's my health look like? Uh, uh, well, let's see. Can we just get over here? I really wish that levitation bubble lasted longer than it does. It doesn't. It doesn't carry you very far at all. I hit an invisible wall. Yeah, what is that? I'm definitely bouncing off of something. Can I just not? I guess I just. Alright, I'll have to catch it on another time because I can't go back that way for some reason. Um. Well, we got some barbicide up here. I'm just so damn good. So good at it. <laughs> the sensors have hair. They got big old pompadours. I gotta stop that. I moved it so it's an easier to easier spot to talk into, but it's also an easier spot to accidentally bump. Uh, yeah, I think it might have been just an invisible wall. I don't know. I'll get it's at the very beginning of the level, so I'll just pick it up on the other end. I just don't want to move on and forget about it, because then I'm going to be running around like, where the hell is that last figment and 12 hours from now? And More health for me. Ooh, and a vault. Hey, Ford, what's going on in your deepest, darkest secrets?
We must stop her. I mean, there's definitely more to the story. They mentioned last time that Maligula was one of the founding members of the Psychonauts, so... Hook, my little minions. Shit. You're welcome. Cleverly placed death traps. Oh, hey, more Barbicide. Sorry, insects, but you're in my way. What have you done? Uh, cleaned up the streets? Those were peaceful protesters, Lucy. Lucy? Who the fuck is Lucy? Is Lucy Maligula's first name? Because if so, she got some splaining to do. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Yay! Now we're happy. Let's see. I got eight more figments. One of them's at the front. <laughs> oh, I see a couple of more over there. Is that where I'm heading? Or did I miss those? Oh yeah, it looks like I missed those. Eh, we gotta do another pass anyway. Lucy, is that really you? Ford, it's me, Raz. Are you really the same person I used to know? Ford, I just saw you. Remember the bacon? I can't even recognize the person you become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? Oh. Alright. Here we go. Okay, we can step on the colored areas of the barber pole hair. Just avoid the dark clouds. Really avoid the dark clouds. Oh, I gotta get through that gap, I see. This isn't gonna take me higher, I just gotta do that.
figment. I got two of them. Was there a third one? Whoa, what the fuck happened there? Wait a minute. You're not Lucy. It is such a relief to hear you say that. You're right at the start. Deep inside her. Something dangerous we accidentally unlocked. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that one moving in a circle? Yeah, yep, so it is. Oh, hey, look at that. Good eye. Uh, hey, look at that. I can also do that. Okay. Up the merry-go-round. I can't get on to that level. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, man. Is the boss fight going to be the inside of his face? Oh, the tongue is all bumpy. It's covered in taste buds. Ah. Uh. To Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. Okay, no boss fight. That that felt like the inside of his face was going to be a boss fight. Okay, so Maligula... Lucretia... Probably Lucretia Maligula, I guess. Um, she was from Grulovia... She was a founding member of the Psychonauts. She went back home during the, the, the Civil War with the Tsar. And then she was different. Not the tone I was expecting for this game, but all right, here we are. Let's go. War is hell. I feel like a completely different person. Okay. Remember to tip your hair, boy. A piece of Ford's mind connected. Now for the other two. I hope I'm doing the right thing, but Agent Zanato is right. We'll need Ford at full capacity if we're going to have a chance at I'm sensing some straight cuts here. Okay. Oh, maybe this is how I get those things up top. Some thoughts. Thanks, Von Tipper. 
this card lying around. Yeah. Scanning access granted. All right, Nick. Staff. Nick. TV. TV. Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh. Can you hear me? Right in the air. All of light. Are you in there? Light, dark, and every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room? And how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang. <laughs> There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everything is oneness. Nothingness. 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 Is that I... Kashmir? It's too delicious. I should really go back in there. But yeah, I'm it's like it's scared. like you were saying earlier, T Sot. What's the opposite of existential horror? Existential ecstasy. Brain, what you got? <laughs> smell electric. The, the charge makes me float. That's that's amazing. Okay, that's that's wonderful. That's yep. this man is permanently on all the drugs. Can I get? I need you to. something here that will help is it a blindfold earplugs better drop this man oh what would happen if we put that sounded ominous what would happen if we put this man in a sensory depth tank what if he had no external stimulus what would happen then like now that he's seen the world Whoa, 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 what the? Ball of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here. You're experiencing a sensory overload. Try to stay calm. Whatever you do, don't have a... Oh, no. I can't breathe. Yep. <laughs> So this is what they look like. My fight or flight response is triggering. I say light. Light! My heart is racing. I have a heart. I don't like it here. You're handling this so much better than I would be. Stay calm, man. Stay calm. How do we get out of here? Stay calm, man. Stay calm. You're handling I don't want to beat it. It's just too fast. Dear universe, please shut up! <laughs> there we go. Find your center. There we are. This is good. Let's stay here. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. This is a good memory. 
Hope this is a good memory. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. What's over there? Uh, come in? Oh, hello. Hey, I know you. You're Vision. Yeah, and you're needed on stage. Come on, Psy King. My dark place. Oh no, Psy not the dark place. Uh, that's what it's like inside one of those things. Oh my god, this fucking color scheme. Yep, and then that happened. Oh boy. The background, the backgrounds feel cell shaded, which is making all of this... Oh no, I have the stage fright. How's everybody doing tonight? Look at all you little stimuluses out there. Okay, here's the situation. Nick's body is sending you all sorts of sensory input. Smells, tastes, visual sounds, tactile feedback. You've just got to deal with it. We know how to deal with a crowd, man. Speak for yourself. I don't remember a thing. You got to deal with yeah, all of will, all of those sensory inputs. Oh fuck! What do they want? I think they want the feast, man. Oh, they look mad. Well, they'd be happy if we could just play for. So them. another thing I've noticed: the first game dealt with like. The first game was much more focused around like like serious psychotic breaks like very uh, distinct like paranoid delusions and uh, you know obsessive compulsive behaviors wow. oh, yeah. so far this game seems to be very focused on different flavors of of uh, generalized anxiety disorders. More neuroses than psychoses. Which I wonder if that's a testament to the age in which we now find ourselves. Everyone's neurotic, it's not just me. Fish. Let's try this. Well, the purse was over here. The senses to censor them. War to the age of the developers. Yeah, I mean, they are getting older in years. There's definitely some, like... That's what I need. Some like late boomer, early Gen X sensibilities at play. But like, Tim Schafer's been kind of playing those cards since Blue, since uh, Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend is very fucking late boomer, early Gen X. Oh, they look mad. 
Would they be happy? You remember when the music was real? You mean like the 70s? Nah, like the early 70s. It's one of the first lines in the game. <laughs> it tells you right where their fucking priorities are from the jump. Don't get me wrong, I love that game. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, can't go out there. Yeah, I think they only want you guys. Yeah, it's always rough on the opening act. Sorry. Alright, you know, go ahead. Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Queller? Ha, uh, good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for... You know, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that Psy King well, here is um, Helmut, turns. the lost uh, yep. the lost Psychonaut, the one who died. Getting the band back together is going to be the rest of the uh, the founding members. But like, now where do I go? This level's huge. Talk to oh, I got to talk to Vision specifically. Okay. Know what this crowd wants? Yeah, they came for a feast of the senses. So give it to them. Oh wow, man! It's been so long. I I don't even know what my violin is. What is a feast of the senses? Is it a band? Well, it's more than a band, man. It's a non-stop festival of sights, sounds, smells, feelings, and flavors. And yes, it was our old band. Our old friends. Who was in the band? Uh, besides me, there was uh, Tasty, Dr. Touch, Audio, Sniffles, and of course, on the mic, we had the Psy King. What happened to the feast? Well, the audience just disappeared one day, and the band drifted apart. Uh, I'd do anything to get the band back together again. I'll find your violin. Just tell me where you last used it. Can I even remember what it looked like? If only you could see the world the way I see it. Oh no, not in the pupil. The inside of an eyeball would be goopier. Huh. This kind of reminds me of our old stage setup. Coincidence. Far out, man. <laughs> An old friend there? Check, check. Hey. hey what are you doing? I was Come doing a mic check and you broke it. World. Well, now we've taught the Psy King about violence.
Okay, but it's okay. We'll get them back. It's fine. I know a fetch quest when I see one. This makes the audio engineer and me happy. First take the stage. Walk up to the biggest mic you see and punch it in the face. That's how you survive and enjoy like this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Your audio engineer will be very unhappy if you go up and punch his microphones. Microphones are very delicate. And, uh... Pop culture has fostered an environment of violence against sound equipment that makes uh, makes me cringe. Man, those things are too fast. Check this out. Just slow Whoa. it down. Time, it some of its meaning, and your perception of it becomes your reality. Want to give it a try? Yes, let me have it this time. Don't fucking thank you. No goddamn fucking hipster classmates here to tell me I'm being a dork. He's going to get more colors. He's going to turn into the mantis shrimp. Is that a fish? I think it's a fish. Or a bus. I forget which is which. Yep. A guy named Mike took my lunch money. That's why I did that. <laughs> Oh, that fish is a platform. I see. Or not. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Well, you rode on it, so I guess it's a bus. Yep, yep, sound reasoning. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Sound reasoning. Hey, it's Sergeant Pepper's violin. I've got eyes on the target. And I've got eyes on me. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just stay on this path. Hope that doesn't piss you off. I see the violin! Did you see it? Sorry if you already saw it. I just think we should be checking in with each other. You know? Uh, 
blind the eye. Shine light directly into your eyes. I did I enjoyed nothing. Can't prove it. You're the one who's overtaken by bloodlust. Nah, I got it. It's all good. So we had a prism down there. There you are. There we go. Man, this is a lot to take in, but I like it. Nothing truly bends, but I'll mind. Oop. Lost my perspective for a second. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed myself with my meat eyes. Oh no, panic attack. So this was the other missable trophy, and I got it the first fight. I just didn't call it out at the time. When he does his... Um, do it so I can describe it. When he does his like multi-form technique when he makes like five of hims appear you have to shoot there we go. You have to shoot the real one. Um, it's missable because apparently there's only a limited limited number of fights with this thing with panic attacks, so if you get through them all and haven't uh, done that, then no trophy, no trophy for you. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Look at look at me applying things to the to real world situations.
that's how you fight a panic attack. Thank you. I don't know what got into me. Um. So yeah, between that and talking to. Oh, pardon me. Between that and talking to Videlo at her office, um, that's that's the two missable trophies. Everything now is just uh, get it when you get it. <laughs> Light tickers? I think I hear some. So this is going to be the big pain in the ass of a level, because it's huge, and I'm guessing it's going to have four more whole fucking areas. Good luck getting all them figments, you chump. That's that's more than double any other level so far. The number of figments. Don't tell Vision I said this, but eyeballs are kind of gross. If you look at them closely, I already feel horrible for saying that. I like the soft, moody jazz, though. Right? It's, it's, just, it's just eyes all the way down. Nothing but eyes. Yep. Blender. Yep. Got it. Fucking 100%. Ah, good old vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. Slide me. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. All right. 
I don't think you could do that in the last game. Turn around while rail sliding. That would have been very handy. Not quite. You guys stay away from us right here. Let's warn you. Warning. Talk okay, its name. 100%. You got it. You're the man now, dog. Okay, I know this looks like a blender, but do not pour any drinks in it. Don't tell me what to do with my drinks. That's it. The path is clear to the object we desire. What was that again? Something to do with mixed drinks. Anything back this way? Nope. Is this the end? Or have we bent around back to the beginning? Shred that fiddle. Send the devil back down to Georgia. Oh no. We need the whole band. But to handle a crowd that size, we need the whole band, man. We need Tasty, Sniffles, Dr. Touch. And Audie. Yeah, Audio. You're remembering, man. <laughs> Cover art from Brutal Legend? Oh, I might have missed it. Oh, they wandered off when the audience left. Could be anywhere. This festival covers so many acres. Hey! <gasps> Didn't we used to have a cool band van? <laughs> I'll bet they're still at the festival somewhere. So what's driving? Da okay. You want me to drive? I don't want to brag, but uh, I've got uh, eyes. They might have wandered into the campgrounds. It's true. That's his new pickup line. Hey, baby, I got eyes. Together as it is. These are the concession stands. 
If they got hungry, they'll be here. Well. Sorry. Whoops. Last thing we did was about food, so let's well, keep the food coming. Good idea. Let's look here. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many cents. Oh, holding up the violin. Yeah, yeah. Violins, man. Yeah, that was that was uh, Eddie. Oh, that was Eddie's pose violins. from when he got the Hope axe. Tasty and Sniffles. I thought you were talking about the like the the Ormagodon skull with the flames and shit. Maybe I should just take a nap. There's some emotional baggage nearby. together again. Well, I'm working on it. Wow. Look at all the Knicks. They sound hungry. Uh, yeah. No, you got a good point there. I feel bad about cutting in line, but I'm on a mission. Oh, excuse me. So hungry. gonna go up so maybe we want to check this out real quick before we head up there wow this unruly crowd takes me back to my circus days except we never really had crowds all gone food all gone no more food for you sorry all you hungry people There we go. Okay. All right. Back to the main tower and up the ramp. Or up the... Up the up. Ascend! happens if you stand on the platform as it speeds up again um next time i see a platform i'll give it a shot probably not good things excuse me hang on kid we're trying to decide what to order you 
You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. Do they have corn dogs? If so, that's what you should get. Kid, the Psy King is back. This is no time for eating. I can't believe I just said that. Why don't you just buy new instruments? My instrument is like a part of me. Yes, mine too. But part of me I set down somewhere and I can't remember. If you guys let me take a look, I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... No, no, don't do it. What? 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 <laughs> I don't want to be in your nose. That's how you get germs. Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. I have to admit, I'm a little afraid of this one. Why? Because of all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man. I've been in a band. There was not not many boogers. Some tongues. I swear I can taste this thing. Is it the Vor Dungeon? Because is there such a thing as Nose Vor? Don't answer that. I don't want to know the answer. Which is a lie, because I do know the answer, and I just don't want to acknowledge that. This is the Beatles. Certainly an adequate supply of tongues in here. Sound like you'd be insufferable at a party. that there's a figment that comes out all right so if we freeze this one got it here's the steamer trunk tag all right we need another jawbreaker for this tongue Uh, 
Yep. yep. That looks like, uh... I don't know if that's the way forward or if that's a side area. I'm just assuming these are big gumballs. Why do all these creeps hate you so much? Hey, I can taste you. Wanna know what you taste like? No, I don't. You taste like shoes. But no ones. Uh I suppose that makes sense. Okay, so the tongue was just a shortcut back to this. What's that smell? Oh god, it's my own sweat. Hey, hey, don't. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? Oh god. Now I can taste it. Oh, oh no. Yuck. <laughs> yep. Uh oh, double panic attack. Had the wrong one equipped. Got her. All right, all right. Stay calm, man. Stay calm. Ooh. My fight or flight response is triggering. I say fight. Fight. Oh no. I can't breathe. Damn. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Whew. Back to my regular smell again. Which, if I'm being honest, I've never heard any complaints about. Yeah, I only watched Sgt. Pepper's for the first time. Sid made me watch it a couple of months ago, and it's fucking hilarious. Like, I didn't realize it was so damn funny. And and like kind of kind of dark funny too. The movie opens with Ringo like standing on a bridge, thinking about committing suicide. But then he decides, no, no, it's too gray and cloudy to kill myself today. That wouldn't be very nice. I should just go home. Like that's how the movie opens. <laughs> well, after you know the prologue. So we need to get past this flailing nose hair. Did you know that without smelling, most flavors fall flat? That's a nose dive. This area really smells. <laughs> I was about to jump in there. I'll bet you were. Up, oh, more dark thoughts. Whoa, I didn't 
not see that coming. You clearly haven't played enough Earthworm Jim. Oh, that's how we... Okay. We did those ones already. That's fine. Anything down here? No, we're good there. Oh, boy. All right, gumball time. What are these made of? Got it. Anything else over here? No, it looks good. God. This is going to be a level where if I miss something, I'm going to be very sad. Because it's this is going to be the one where I get one... I'm one shy of the total. I like the smell of this bridge. What's down there? Secrets. This bridge has a strong smell. That's a good sign. Secrets. Ooh. Two more man band members reunited. King? We need to get the whole band back together, am I right? We need Dr. Touch. And we need audio. Does... Tasty sounds like Mark Hamill. So, why aren't you the same? You wouldn't ask that if you ever heard the Psyking sing. He is amazing. He's the best. Oh, please, you're making me blush. I need time to practice my licks. Okay, I doubt the other two are going to be paired up like that. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Can't 
beat that old man smell. They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. We're not here to run people over, all right? We're not here to run people over, all right? Good idea. You don't know that. Let's look here. Maybe I am here to run people over. Don't tell me what to do. Well, this is the campground. Dr. Touch and Artie used to like to come here. They like to get high out here. So, you're saying they're up there? Nah. Uh, the view up there is amazing. Nah. Uh, Used to sneak up here and talk about our hopes and dreams. So beautiful. Yep. This isn't even to get Ford's brain back into shape. This is the guy that we need to get into the mail room to get to Ford. I miss the quiet. Oh, more dark thoughts. Like this. This one is surprising. Yeah, accurate. No, they're a fucking mess. Every single time. Burning Man destroys acres and acres of desert every year. This hat box needs a hat box tag. Bathrooms are like wherever you want them to be, man. God, I hate hippies. Should dad have any money we could share? I've never felt like more of a fucking grumpy old man than watching that episode of King of the Hill where they try to go fishing and the hippies invade the campground. My new name is Energy Turtle. Oh, what? Uh, I forgot about the central mechanic of this level. Yeah, let's see. The last festival I was at, well, I, the last festival I was at was a couple of years ago when I was working on, I was working at Bumbershoot, uh, which um, is a uh, music festival up here in Seattle. Uh, and it was weird. All So I was, I was on trucks which in, in my lingo means I stand on the loading dock and my whole job is take the stuff off the truck and put it onto the loading dock. Other people take it away. It's very specific. I am just there to get it off the truck, nothing else. Other people know where to take it and what to do with it. I am just getting it so the truck can leave and the next one can come in. It is normally what my job is. Um, but for fucking Bumbershoot, every act went up was just a DJ. Just one person walked up the ramp holding a laptop saying, yeah, this is all I got. That's all I need. And then they would go on stage and they would play a playlist and the crowd was into that, I guess. I would have been very upset if I had paid festival money to see a DJ. Screaming for the Feast of the Senses. That's what I've been telling this one. But the problem with him is that he just won't listen. Without Psyking, there is no feast. There's nothing. But Psyking is back. What? He's down by the van with Vision. But we're not ready. We haven't practiced. Dr. Touch, where are our instruments? I, I thought you had them. Oh, no. We need those instruments. The crowd's getting angry. Hey, that kind of pressure is not helping. Yes, that makes us just want to stay up here. Where it's safe. High up here. Maybe you could perform. 
perform without your instruments? Acapella. We possibly perform without our instruments. Hmm. Magic? I do know a little sleight of hand, you know. Please. Let me take a look. I bet I can find you. Sounds good to me. And we'll go back to napping. No. No, don't put me in the ear. I don't want to go in the ear. No. No. Okay. Well, two instruments coming up. They are paired up, so we're done soon. Careful. Hey, I love what they've done with the place. Okay. Let's get those instruments and get out of here. If I know Audi, this is going to sound awesome. Oh, and Dr. Touch is good too. Careful. Dr. Touch can be a little handsy. Um, the Illumineers were the only band, like, band band that played. And so, like, the only, like, like, Carly Rae Jepsen played, but she, again, had a DJ with her. So I guess we had to set up a microphone for her, but that was it. Um, the Illumineers were there. They're apparently a name. I hadn't heard of them until the show, and I think I recognized one of their songs from a car commercial. <laughs> that was the only, like, actual band we had to unload. But yeah, I, I don't go to a festival to watch a DJ with a laptop. I go to a festival to see the band. Personally. Am I a grumpy old man who's just not hip and with today's new musics? All, all in laptop form? You're almost 30. Is that is that your way of telling me that you are the hip and new music or that you are also a grumpy old man? Because I'm 34 and 30 is not allowed to be grumpy old man territory. Very clever slowing that down. I was about to suggest it. No. No, fuck that. I'm still young and vital. If anybody played Bumbershoot, and I think I think Bumbershoot's done, honestly. Uh, Live Nation has been just strangling ticket sales nationwide. Bumbershoot, it's the it's the name of the festival I was talking about. It's in uh, it's every every fall in uh, in Seattle, down by um, what was once known as the Key Arena. Um, is now climate change arena um, but the area around there is like there's a bunch of museums there's the space needle um i guess the space needle is probably more relevant to most people key arena is just mine because it's where i work um but yeah there's a lot of like festival grounds and uh fisher pavilions down there is a big stage and they, they take over the whole area for a few days. Usually late August, early September. I just remembered something I need to do. No, not something you need to do. Um I disagree. I've never understood that. But you do you, man. The feeling bad has never been feeling nothing. Figment fish. Figment fish. Oh, uh, did I miss it? Oh. Well, let me kill these sensors and then we'll...
damn it. Okay, let me kill these sensors and then we'll... I mean, as someone who's been in, like, extreme amounts of, of physical and psychological pain for extended periods of time in my life, uh, nothing, nothing's pretty good by comparison. Nothing is, uh, nothing is at least functional. Like, since I've been on my meds, I admit I've been a little, uh, you know lower energy but like hey I don't spend two hours a day randomly in a fucking fetal position sometimes and that's pretty good Like I said, I'm going to be stealing Yahtzee's line from the review about this game on it. It's, uh, for someone who's a, my brain is a fixer-upper at the best of times. Oh no, chill, Psyking. Oh, was that a panic attack? There were no, but there were no panic attacks in that fight. Spoke too fucking soon. There we go. Oh, all right. I'm feeling better. I'm ready to help. <sighs> hey, where'd he go? Okay. Someone said something about a fish. Fish. Missing 20 figments. I think there's another area on the map that we. I think there's another area on the map. But if we've got all the band, then um, who knows? We'll see what happens next. I gotta say, Sacking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I hate it. I fucking hate it. In the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. I'd hug you, but I only have one hand.
the skin of bone. Just a thought is all I've got. Yeah, those mustache whiskers would be very uh, irritating. At the bottom of a lake. Hey! This character feels like, I mean, this is, it's Helmet. Yeah, we got Helmet back, but it feels like this should be a voice by Jack Black. No, not your cosmic eye. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Dear universe, please. died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. All right, what do we got? Maybe we can interact with these uh, negative spaces now. Oh, there we go. What's going on here? Ah, this is my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. You okay? So far. You okay? So far. going to act her to death? I did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Full Bear, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. So Sniffles is Cassiopeia, Tasty is um Dogen's dad. Lucy, just for a bit. It reminded her grandpa. She was in there. 
So Maligula used to be your friend? And her name was Lucy? <sighs> was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Lucretia Mux, but she went bad somehow and then you all had to go fight your friend? Pretty much. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. And then vision is forward, which means that um, Dr. Touch must be uh, Lily's uncle. I'm right here. Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world. Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for your full bear. But my stupid hyperhigh glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it's a... Uh, oh, no, that's Otto. That's designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little cracked to begin with. Oh, then audio must be uh, Lily's uncle. My body's been in hyper right, sorry. Time. I was trying to think of like, I missed one. Where is it? Hearing stuff. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Oh no, I can't look. This is where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. Woo! Now I'm a mail clerk. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta deal with this Everybody first. Everybody stand back! Remember, this is our friend, Lucy! She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your strawberry, Donato. Time out, Lulu. Remember, this is our friend. Let the child beat her up. Oh, maybe I got a blaster. I haven't found your body yet, Fulbert, but not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm going to keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you. After I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay, I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. 
So very popular. The power of friendship. Forty six percent continues to be forty six percent. What is it with loading bars where they'll pick a number, they'll hold on that, and then the rest of it'll go? Like, is that is that doesn't seem like an accurate representation of of progress? Senior staff only. I'm who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome, Helmet Fulbear, deceased. All right, because it reads your brain. Ford's going to be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one, and now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But I'll see you at curtain call. Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away. All right, so that's that's two members. Two of the original members got sorted out, and each of them is off to find another one. 